So welcome to Houston. Thank you very much. It's like being home for me. I attended the University of Houston's Law Center and I was recently back here to receive the Distinguished Alumni Award from the Dean. So I'm always glad to be here in Houston today, especially to talk about heart health. So I was I was, uh, you know, we have a health and wellness uh, journal, and the reason we started because we seen there was a lack of information in our community, and as I started, uh, you know, investigating and getting involved, and I, I was amazed at all the information that's out there, but it wasn't plugged into the community. So why is it important that people understand to, to get involved in organizations uh, like the uh, the Heart Association. Well, especially for the minority community, there's a lot of information that is out there. It one of the most comprehensive websites in all of philanthropy is heart.org, which has every single thing you could ever want to know about cardiovascular disease and stroke. Period. Um, there's a one-stop shopping sort of uh, place for you to go if you want to know what are the best foods to eat for heart health, um, if you want to know what the signs of heart disease are in men versus women, if you want to know what movements are going on in your area, that is the place that you want to start. If you don't have a computer in your own home, then you need to go to a public library where you can get that information. So you have to care enough about yourself to save your own life. Let's just start with that. I have to, to impress upon people that we take responsibility for the things that matter to us. And our health has to matter. Heart disease is the number one killer of all Americans. It's the number one killer of African Americans and it's the number one killer of women. Now, I like to check the box, but I don't want to check all three of those boxes and I'm three for three. And most black women are not in a health, heart healthy state because we don't know the things that we should do to get to that point. And it's real simple. Eat less, move more. And that is what you have to start with. 80% of all heart disease is preventable by simple lifestyle changes. And until you say, I love myself enough to save my own life, we're not going to make a dent in those numbers. You know, we always talk about this. So tell me what you think about, like you said, minority, especially African American and Hispanic. When you have a grandmother who had all this soul food and they cook and you don't want to eat so much and they get offended. So what do you say about that situation? We retrain our culture. You know what? Maya said, rest her soul. When you know better, you do better. Well, we know better now. We know that massive amounts of pork and salt is detrimental to our health. We know that too much sugar and uh, uh, saturated fats is devastating to our health. We know that smoking is devastated to our health. These are things we know. We can make those changes tomorrow. You will not offend your grandmother if you say, Grandmother, I'm going to have half of what you put down there instead of the whole plate. You know what? At some point, saying, well, that's in our culture, gets tired, old, and sounds ridiculous. Okay? I, it's in my culture to want to have grits and eggs with cheese and six pieces of bacon. Okay? But that's not good for my health. So I make real choices. And I actually say to other people, um, it's one thing to be full-figured, and it's another thing to be fat, and I don't mean P-H-A-T. Um, being fat, F-A-T, can kill you. And until we start looking people in the face and saying that obesity is an epidemic in our community, and it is not okay to be 300 pounds and 5'5", five five, which is what I was. The only person that I know that could be 300 pounds and I remember was Shaquille O'Neal. And he ran up and down the basketball court for 45 minutes and was what, seven feet tall. I'm 5'5", five five. I can't weigh as much as Shaquille. And that's just the basic facts. Wow, <laughs> that was, that's amazing. Uh, so. That's one of the reasons that you chose the Heart Association. I mean, you could have probably endorsed any nonprofit. What's so special about this organization? 
Well, the American Heart Association is me, period. I am alive because of the work of the American Heart Association. Actually, my cardiologist is a former president of the American Heart Association. And I've been involved since almost the day after open heart surgery. I saw that there was a need to have a woman an African-American woman talk about the disease that is devastating this country. It's a pandemic because the faces of heart disease, at least in front of the media, were not a black woman. It was an old white guy. You think that that's the disease and that's who gets it. Well, no. It's much more like me. It's much more like uh, uh, the young woman over here. It's much more like the young woman out there. It is devastating to anyone at any age and of all races. And I knew that I had a media platform. So instead of using your media platform to get a good uh, table at a good restaurant, <laughs> let's use it to elevate the conversation on heart health. And I just made that decision. Okay. Uh, I love your book title, you know, uh, you got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. I think that's one of the most powerful things. Okay, I want to ask you this last question. To our audience, What can they, name, they may not be a star or mogul, but what can they do? Can you give them some encouraging words to how to get involved in what you think? And I know being a woman, I always say women are the head of the household. They really encourage because when my mom tells me to do something, you kind of take a second look. So what can you encourage our women and our audience to do to get involved? Could you just give them a, a word of encouragement? Well, you know, honestly, love yourself enough to save your own life. Um, I always say if mama ain't healthy, ain't nobody healthy. <laughs> and you can't take care of your family if you did. Um, your health is your priority. I used to think that my law degree was something to be proud of. And yes, it is. But the thing that I'm most proud of is I'm heart healthy. It feels so good to say that. And I want that for all of you. Thank you. Community Talk with Mrs. D. Mars and Star Jones. Thank you. We love you. And keep reading. And take care of yourself. Take care of your heart. Thank you.